These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Nice to be here with you. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Larry Holmes, watch out for that reach of 206 centimeters. He's also 191 centimeters tall and weighed in at 103 kilos. Floyd Patterson, a man that needs no introduction. One of the slickest heavyweights of all time. Six foot tall, 201 pounds. There's an amazing reach advantage, which you do not actually realize is there until you get popped by that jab. The distance that's created is ridiculous. Eastern assassin Larry Holmes dominated the heavyweight. The jab. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Eastern Pennsylvania. Here is one of boxing's all-time greats, the heavy... So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. Todd, it's one of my... And there's the bell to start the round. Swing and a miss with the jab. Nice counter shot. That one lands. These two have been going at it on social media, and now finally, they're about to go at it in the ring. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans, you can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it up. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. Nice counter. Only catching air with that hook. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at it. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. This fighter is a swarmer. They're like a mosquito that just won't leave you alone, except this mosquito can knock you out with one punch. Swarmers, you can go back in boxing history. And when you've seen them, when you've seen the best of the best, the best swarmers going, you understand how hard it is. It looks exciting from the outside in. Can you imagine being right in there? They are not going to let very close round. So much for defensive abilities. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Talk about Holmes in that last round. They ring the bell, and here we go. After that last round, something has got to change. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. And we may see a stoppage. Down goes Larry Holmes. Is he out? Is he gonna move? Is there a twitch? Well, they beat the count and are ready to go again. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. a good start to the round for this guy. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. The corners must be so, so happy. Down to a T. Play the plan out to a T. If they can pick up momentum and do this over and over and over again, they've got it. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good. Two punches better.
That's another scoring shot. That hook was off target. for defensive abilities. Beautiful sneaky shot to take his legs away from him. The perfect counter lands. Ah. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. So it's plan B time after being knocked. They were hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Nice counter punch right up the middle. This fighter's always on their toes, trying to get their opponent rattled, get them off kilter, get them out of their rhythm. Do not give an outside fighter time to think. You've got to make the fighter panic. You've got to rush the fighter into doing things they don't normally do. I slipped to avoid the jab. they figure out the combination to this safe. Do you believe what we're seeing? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's not a match made in heaven. And now they're trying to get into their opponent's head. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. They've got to use their jab better in this fight. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Perfect counter shot. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. Yep. They ring the bell, and here we go. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hands down. Good counter punch. That jab not going to score. Nothing like a little taunting to get your opponent riled up. Well, you know in this division, you got to have speed and you got to have footwork or you're going to be a cooked goose. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect. An upset of the year, perhaps, right before our... And now going for the finish. He's days. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he Should he try and hold on? We've avoided catastrophe there. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Work on defense. Blocking and stopping and shooting. What caught sleeping on the... Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. 
hard. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Punch is beginning to take its toll. It's all offense all the time. We've seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. This is why I love the little guys. This is exactly why I love them. Look at them. Toe to toe, heart for heart. You know, mano on mano, they're letting the shots go. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's gonna be a hard night tonight for the judges. One punch could change everything in this battle. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. They're in trouble. His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts, Dad. Get him up. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. And there's the bell to start the round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? This is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get speed, good footwork. You're gonna get punches thrown for Do you believe what we are seeing? Oh, what a shot. He's staggered, he's staggered, does he know? Referee says we will fight on. Not sure about this one. Look at his corner. Look at the instructions. They're telling him to calm down. Make the most of the count. Get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow get to the end of the round. Halfway through the round, and I think we all know who's winning here. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got it in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or is it a bit of a mousetrap? dope here. Punch, counter punch. Final 10 seconds here, unless something major happens. I think we all know who won that one. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knock. And there's the bell to start the round. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff him. Can't score with that jab. In the build-up to this fight, Johnny, this power puncher told us, listen, I don't care if it's round one or round 12, I've got enough power and confidence to end this in one shot. 
This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Nice counter. Beautiful counter shot. You'd like to see more jabs. The jab slightly off target. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Holmes in that last round. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights, we know. But I'm telling you now, you look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts, and you can imagine that being you. They're the size of an average man. can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Couldn't land that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. They're both trying for a knockout. One of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. Not sure if I'd be taunting right now. The perfect counter lands. Final. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about Holmes in that last round. I promise you, all three judges here. They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You know, with lightweights, these guys are going to be lightning quick. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is he gets caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Both of these fighters have had their moments. The courage on display here is incredible. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Beautiful counter shot. 
This fighter has been extremely aggressive so far, Johnny, but how do they keep it up over the distance of this fight? Remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go. They can move. They're fast. They're sharp. It's a hard night work for the referee. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Round. At this point, you gotta. And there's the bell to start the round. So, not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's gonna pop you off. showing exceptional chins, by the way. The only fear you have with this fighter is has he punched himself out? Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because that's so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Tough to be a judge in this fight, as both fighters have had their big moments. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down. Someone's will will cave, but which fighter will it be? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. in that last round after what we saw in that last we're hoping for an all action slug fest well there's no doubt about who won that last round let's see what he has for us here in the next one Todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything works wait for the reaction until then keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down This fight has a real good flow to it. It's not always about who hits harder. In this division, ring IQ can go a long way. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Just misses with that uppercut. Oh, my! That's a game changer. Does he know he's hurting? Look at him. That back foot went. It completely shivered. Did you see that touch? Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. It looks like he might not be as hurt as we thought. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What did they do? What did they tell him when he goes up to the corner? How are they going to get through this? Bing Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. many people would have predicted it but we've got a knockout victory a knockout victory that is god did you see